Pack up my belly. Good morning, Whitman Wildcats. Welcome to our last day of Teacher Appreciation Week 2022. Home of the hit WWK8, the cat. So excited. It is Friday, May 6th. Brooklyn, do we have any birthdays today? Yes, we have one birthday for today, which is Ricardo Franco. And we have a birthday for Sunday, which is Christian Leon. So happy birthday to you two. And the weather for today will be a high of 55 and a low of 43. Awesome. Happy birthday. And it sounds like a halfway decent weekend. Miss Amy, what's for lunch? Brooklyn, are you doing lunch? I'm sorry. So lunch for today will be a beef hot dog on a bun, baked beans, ketchup and mustard, jicama and seasoning sticks, chilled pears, and a choice of milk. Thank you for that. Miss Amy, what announcements do you have for us today? All right, darlings. I have the updated leaderboard. Here we go. Online intervention leaderboard for Alex, Connor Doyle, Ryland Fabian, for iReady Math. Kate Hernandez, Gabby Ware, Nathan Norton, Leah, uh, Lanaya Williams, and Samia. Samia Lyons, I do believe. Moby Max, darlings, look at you. You've been so, so busy. Be sure you're still taking time to clean your room at home, but some of you are doing Moby Max at home. We're looking at Kaylin Meistead, Evelina Gonzalez, Stacy W., Valerie A., Alfredo V., Rosalind G., Giovanni C., Nolan L., Yusuf S and Samantha B. Kudos to all of you. You will be dining in the STEM lab with Miss Clemens eating some ice cream tomorrow, today at two. Well done, all of you. And know this, that this month we will be taking the star assessment, both in mathematics and reading. Do your very best, Wildcats. Thank you and good day. Congratulations to all those winners. I have some winners to announce today too. It's been a delayed reaction, but we finally have our winners of our trivia questions from Wednesday. The student trivia question was, where in the United States can you stand and be in four states at one time? I asked you to name the monument and then tell the four states. So the monument was four corners and the states are Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. Has anybody ever been there? I have not been there. I would love to get there though someday. So congratulations. I picked 10 people because we had a lot of people who uh, had the right answer. So we have Aiden from room six, Malachi from eighth grade, Nico from third grade, Charles from eighth grade, Joey C from fifth grade, Evelina from fifth grade, Logan from fifth grade, Josie Sierra from sixth grade, and Brooklyn Perez from sixth grade and Gio from fifth grade. Come on down to the office to get your prize this morning. Now we also had a trivia question for the teachers, which I was very curious to see if anybody could figure this out. Their question was, where in Whitman school can you stand and be on four different color tiles at the same time? The correct answer was the gym, cafeteria, whatever you want to call it, multi-purpose room. Uh, and those winners were Miss Van, Miss Skoma, Miss Jones, Miss Danny, Miss Zia, and Mr. Hamilton. We had a few people guess outside of Miss Sobey's office, but if you look carefully, there's only three colors outside of Miss Sobey's office. So it was a trick question. So those people will be entered in for the prize drawing, the teachers, that we will have a little later today. So congratulations to all of you. We have one more challenge for you today. Our last challenge of the week is called Mystery Voice. Um, no, that's not a very creative name, but it does describe the contest perfectly. In a moment, I'm going to play a clip for you of someone talking. And I will take the seventh person who emails me the correct answer will be entered in the prize drawing. 
So if you are ready, I will play the clip for you. Hold on one moment. I lost it. Here we go. Okay. Be ready. This is just for teachers. I'm going to turn it up loud. Happy Deaf Appreciation Week, Whitman. You are the cat's meow because you are the making it work wildcat. Thanks for all you do in excellence of service to our students. So, teachers, staff, who was that talking? Email me if you think you know the answer. The seventh person that gets it correct will be entered in for a prize. So we hope that you guys have had fun this week. I know that uh, uh, us announcers sure have had fun. Um, we appreciate all that the appreciation elves did. I'll send that list out to you guys a little later today so you can thank the person who gave you some appreciation if you got that this week. Uh, don't forget, teachers, we have lunch for you today and staff that will be available in a little while. So make sure that you enjoy that. Um, a little, like I said, a little later today, we'll do our final drawings for some other prizes. So again, we just want our staff to know here at Whitman how much you are appreciated every day, not just, just this week. Because without you, we would not be the great school that we are. Our students are thriving because of all the effort that you put in coming to school every day, working hard and preparing lessons for our students. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your hard work and dedication to Whitman School. All right, let's have a fantastic Friday and we'll see you soon. Toodles, darlings. Bye.